we're going to throw our hat in the ring and talk about w some reasons why we're a little bit fed up about these lockdowns. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another opinion piece about the recent crises in this country. And I'd like to say I'm getting a little bit fed up for, for various reasons, but I, I just have to say, you know, out loud here, I'm not one of those people that are in the group of people that are afraid. I'm not afraid. And it's not because we don't think this is, is real or if it's a bad thing. Um, I mean, all you have to do is, if you really want to look at, look at the global death stats. Uh, and you can see that uh, month over month or year over year, there's really no, uh, no statistical difference. Um, I don't know. You, you have to question whether you believe these, these reporting agencies and if they're just not more scripted numbers and so on. Uh, I really don't know what's happening behind the scenes in these uh, super secure medical establishments and all these... Uh, pharma companies and uh, insurance companies. And there's, there's a lot of uh, levers to pull in this situation. There's also a lot of money at hand. So you really have to question a lot of things. But, you know, in general, I mean, I, I re the re one of the reasons I'm not afraid is I see people living normally. I don't see, uh, there's no real world ob observable reasons for me to be afraid. I go out, everything is fine. I mean, I'm not walking into to zones where mobs of people are lighting things on fire or anything like that. Jesus, the bugs come out. I, I hate filming in my studio in the summer. There's bugs everywhere. But I guess one of the things that I um, have on my radar and to be concerned about is the unpredictable mindset of the mob and how they allow mainstream uh, information companies to corrupt their minds. And they don't, these are people that lack the critical thinking ability. And that's, uh, something to be concerned about because it's almost like programming an army of robots uh, to do act in a certain way. All you have to do is say the magic word and they're uh, violently reacting. So you got to be careful because human beings, a lot of them have been dumbed down by uh, chemical reasons or entertainment reasons or lack of uh, true education or, you know, lack of critical thinking. Like I like to say, it, it, when you have a bunch of lemmings that just follow along and are easily dupable, that's what happens. But one of the things that is really pushing our uh, patience, I'm, I'm clicking my camera lens here. That's what the noise is. Um, is what's happening to families that don't uh, see eye to eye, that aren't on the same wavelength or, or on the same page. What happens when you have two parents that have um, completely different viewpoints? You know, what I find amazing is like everybody has a different recipe of how they get their information. It could be four parts of this site, two parts that channel, one part this radio station, and or, or 10 parts this social media channel, or followers, or, or you know, everybody has a different recipe. So nobody in this current crises uh, can see eye to eye because they all have a different recipe and they, it's, it's bizarre. Um, but it's, it's amazing how, depending on what you consume, if you're a mainstream person, you believe, oh, this, this thing. And if you're on the alternate side, on the other extreme, you're like, ah, oh, my freedoms are getting taken away. And then there's everybody in between, and, and depending on which side you are, closer or further away from each other. I don't know. But, you know, it's, it gets really frustrating when, like, uh, you know, one person in your family, there's a box of macaroni and cheese that's been sitting in the, in the supply closet in the basement for three months and they still disinfect it with bleach or alcohol or whatever it may be. And you start getting worried, like, why did you do that? And, you know, you get an answer, well, no harm, just being careful. You realize that's permanent now. If you're going to be so worried about germs and dirt and being careful, that, that's sort of like a bad personality uh, trait to have and if you're going to be concerned about what other people are touching and then you it, it, it snowballs like oh my god did you talk to this person we can't go out for two weeks uh, or, or something like that it's it becomes a little bit stressful and it becomes like a like a paranoia for somebody um and that's that's one of the effects that constant uh, repetition of of maybe accurate or maybe grossly inaccurate fear and propaganda does to someone. They become like a maniac, and 
that's uh, that's not cool, and it, it becomes very um, unpleasant to live in a situation like that. And how do two people with differing views get along? I mean, do you just say, "Okay, it's no big deal, do this," or do you do you fight like I do and say, "You know, you're being ridiculous. Snap out of it. You know, Psh, snap out of it." You know, <clears throat> come on, what you, what's your problem? Everybody's fine. I don't live, I have none of the fear that you do, and I'm just as fine as you. Why is that? Um, I don't know. It, it just scares me that people can be coerced into being so afraid and, and, and panic and manic. It, it's just, uh, I think it's going to have a lot of ripple effects, and I, it's not just me. I, I'm not so bad here. We, we, we can manage partially because... I have a high level of tolerance for this, but sometimes after, if it, on a bad day, I might uh, have a short fuse with that. But I know other families that uh, aren't doing so well either because of, you know, it's not always man, woman, it's 50-50. Like sometimes the woman understands and uh, the male is the one that's uh, shaking in their pants. I don't know, what, what are you gonna do about this? This, this, this isn't good. Uh, this needs to end, and it needs to end decisively soon and without, uh, without doubt and without um, any way to uh, rebut it. It has to be resolute. Or, well, I don't even know what the words I'm looking for, but it has to be like definitive. So hopefully that, something like that is coming soon. But in this giant globe of misinformation, um, I would say I'm not going to bet on it. I, I, I have my fears. So that's it. If you like the video, hit the bell, the subscribe, and all that. And I'll see you next video in a couple days.